I'm going to show you the 34 best base locations in all of Power World. So I've explored the entire map with the intention of finding the best possible base locations. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I came up with. This first base location, if you are playing on a multiplayer server, it's probably taken because it's a pretty well-known one. But it's really good if you can get it. So right here on the map, it's around uh, 189 by negative 40 or so right over here. And there's a spot on the top of mountain, great view of the world around you amazing spot but more importantly than the view and the waterfall in the background and all that there is there's ore here a ton of ore and there's a ton of coal so this is an ultimate place to get refined ingots or at least, or just get ore which you can later use for the uh, pal metal ingots and i've heard there's even quartz up in the ice up there that you can find so pretty much everything you need here and an amazing view of the world around you the next spot can be found directly next to a fast travel, convenient if your friends want to come visit your base or anything like that on a server. It's by the Mount Floppy Summit. The coordinates are 16 by negative 87 or so. And the main thing here is it's by fast travel. It's got a bunch of rocks. It's got one coal and one ore. And it's got a very nice view of the world around it because it's on a ledge like this. Just another good place to build a base. The next spot on the list is another great ore farming spot that's also got a great view. It's a great location. It's at 92 by negative 263. And there's... um. A base right next to it so you can farm up the caged pal every day and also you know, it's got a great view of that like red forest area as well and it's got a nice vantage point of the world around it it's just a pretty nice location the next spot can be found at 128 by negative 97 and this area doesn't have a whole lot going for it it's flat it has ore it's got a nice place to build the flatness is really nice for building you know where at random elevation stuff and there don't really any trees growing through your base and stuff other than these rocks right here and it's got another really great view of the world around it so it's actually just down the hill from that other that first spot i showed you over there so if you want a second base down from there you can also have one over here as well but it's also a really nice place to have a base and now we got a few of the newbie spots these ones are really good and then we'll get back to some of the later game spots so real fast there's this one right here 412 by negative 313 open space on one of the newbier areas a low level enemies and this one has a bunch of trees but a big open space so you can have the trees on the outside and there's one random ore that your pals can mine for you over and over again. The next one's at 496 by negative 216. It's the same kind of deal, but a little bit less thick of trees. And there's one ore for you right there. Great place for a new player. Then we have 521 by negative 124 over here in another noob area. Again, we got one iron ore. There's some trees on the edges of the base location and some rocks. Another good flat space to build for a new player. Then right nearby, we have 468 by negative 85, which is another one of those spots. Big open space, a little bit of trees on the edges and an ore farm for you to uh, one ore spot for you to farm over and over again with your pals and on that same island there's 440 by negative 160 just another great open spot with a one ore for you to mine trees and some rocks now moving over to right by the start of the game there's a really good spot that's 155 by negative 395 it's another one of the spots with a ton of ore nodes it's up on a cliff so you get a nice little view of the world around you there's a little bridge next to it that leads to the chillette boss the weakest boss in the game which you can farm for ancient civilization parts and it's pretty close to a fast travel and a castle setup if you want to uh, have your friends come visit you and stuff like that. So it's a pretty good location. Definitely one of the best uh, brand new player locations. This next one is one of my favorites. So this one is over at 73 by negative 399. It's at the Desolate Church fast travel. There's the Desolate Church right there and a fast travel in front of it. Now you have to build back a little ways, but I love this one because not only is it next to this giant spire, that's pretty cool. It's got a bunch of iron ore right there, and it's in this red tree biome, which I think is one of the most, if not the most, beautiful biome in the entire game. Speaking of beautiful base locations, we got this one, one of my favorites. Center of the map, it is at negative 54 by negative 426 by the ravine entrance, and you get this beautiful field of flowers that you won't find literally in any other biome. It's one unique little area, and it's a good flat place to build on. There's two ore spawns right here. We got an additional ore spawn over there that you can find every day. There's a scorched egg. You can find moose arenas here. Uh, it's just a really nice place. The field of flowers is pretty cool. Next up, we have 8 by negative 530. It's this little spot right here in this biome. It's got a bunch of ore spawns, or if you want, you can build up from the ore spawns and farm them manually or find some kind of compromise between the two. But it's got a lot of trees, got a lot of ores, and it's just a really nice place to build a base with a nice view and nice colors. Next up is negative 115 by negative 576. It's just another new player spot. We got another one, one of those ones with one single ore, some trees, some rocks. But this one's got an entrance to a cave over there. It's just a really good place for a new player. Then we have another really good new player spot. It's negative 183 by negative 536. It's this big open flat field. Easy to build on. No weird elevation to work with. It's got some ore around it. It's even got a skill fruit tree over there. And it's on this nice little ledge surrounded by water. So it's just a really cool place to build on. Then we have a spot at negative 248 by negative 450. A little bit higher level, level 20 area. And this one has a bunch of those ore spawns again right next to a bandit camp. 
and you can build either at the ore spawn or up the hill from it wherever you'd like to find a good spot to build but it's just another good place to consider putting a base down the next one's at negative 125 by negative 133 this is a really unique spot it's in this one small little desert biome with the temple of anubis area and there's this really cool plateau thing that you can build on right here it's just big enough to put a base on basically and there's some coal nearby over there. You'll find random ore and sulfur in the desert. It's it's a pretty cool place to build a base. The next spot is at negative 592 by negative 234. This one is really interesting. It's going to be hard to build here. But if you pull it off, you'll be able to build in a castle. You can build either over here or maybe over here. It's hard to find a good open spot to build at. But if you want to build here, you can build inside of a broken down castle. It's pretty cool, but you're going to need heat resistant armor and prefer preferably heat resistant undershirt as well in order to survive here because it is hot all the time except for night. And right nearby to that is negative 686 by negative 228. And this one just has an ore spawn, some trees and a kind of slight angle to build on. But it's got a nice view of the ocean and the animal sanctuary and the giant tree in the background. And you will go to the animal sanctuary whenever you want. Speaking of animal sanctuaries, negative 657 by negative 129 or over here at 94 by negative 725 or the third one over here, which is 674 by 636. All those animal sanctuaries, you can actually build a base on them. And a lot of them have cool resources. They have chest drops. They have these flowers that you use in medical recipes, beautiful flowers. Uh, they're interesting places with some really strong enemies depending on which one, but they're definitely cool places to build a base if you want to build one there. The next spot is negative 716 by negative 704. Now this one really nothing special. It has an iron ore and it's kind of flat, but the main thing is just to have at least one option in this biome that I'm in. That's pretty good. It's a pr nice little quaint little spot that you can build in, build at. The next one can be found at 292 by 241. This is over in the desert. I thought it was a cool place in the desert. It's got a bunch of coal. That's really about it, but it's this nice interesting plateau up in the sky that separates you from the rest of the desert it's a pretty cool place and it's kind of near that city too it's got a nice view around it it's just a pretty cool place to build a base the next spot is at 593 by 223 it's another one out in the desert it's got a coal and an ore they're too far apart to get them both in a single base but they're there to farm every day and it's just a nice little open space it just looks right for a base if you know what i mean and i think it's in a really cool looking area too now we got one of the most beautiful ones in the entire game this is another really beautiful spot it's negative 35 by positive 215. you can build on this like pen peninsula plateau thing get a wonderful view of the ice biome the tree in the background and the city thing and you got a decent amount of space to work on, though. This is for more of an advanced builder because you're going to have really unlevel ground to work on and your base space is limited. But it also has a black marketeer right here that you can use every day. So that's pretty cool, too. It's just a really, really good space to have a base. I really like this one a lot. It's one of my favorites. The next one can be found at 141 by 411. This is one of my favorite secret spots for a base. So out in the snow, there's this random grassy peninsula. It has quartz and it has ore here. And there's a bunch of different spots for you to pick from. So pick and choose your favorite spot. The flattest one is right around where I am right now. But you could also try to build on the incline if you want. There's also a skill fruit tree over here. And if you're all the way at the peninsula, you have a wonderful view of the desert biome as well. And you can see the city from here. It's actually a really cool view. And because it's grassy and not snowy, even though there's the coldest biome in the game right there, right next to it, it's actually just normal temperature right here. So you don't actually need ice or cold resistant gear in order to live here. So this is a really cool little secret spot. Probably my favorite secret feeling spot in Power World. Now we're shifting over to good spots in that snowy biome over here on the north of the map. We got one right here at negative 255 by 393. And this spot is got, it's got some ore. It's got a bunch of quartz. It's in a nice little spot. Got a good vantage point of the world around it. And I just think it's a nice little spot for a base. If you want quartz and you want ore at a base, this is a pretty good one. The next spot's at negative 344 by positive 312. This one's right next to a fast travel. There's really nothing special about this other than it's on one of these little plateau hills. Very easy to defend. It's an easy place for friends to visit from a fast travel. And if you want to live in a snowy biome, it's just a really nice, easy spot to build on. Back to Mount Obsidian, there's this really cool spot that I could build on right here, or you could build on right here, which is another of those interesting plateaus. It's right here at negative 496 by negative 686, and it's just another one that's just big enough for a base. Then you can have one of those big plateau bases like this. If you want to, if you're in that kind of thing, this could be a great base for you. Now we've got a really cool spot for you right here. So this one is over at negative 700 by negative 640 over at Mount Obsidian. Again, you'll need a heat-resistant armor in order to live here. But this spot's got two coal or three coal, four coal, no, five coal, sorry, maybe there's even six, and one ore. But more importantly, you're on this nice little oasis island looking thing, and it is a really cool spot to build a base. So if you want a really cool little oasis island base that has coal and has ore, 
this is going to be the base for you. The next spot is going to be around negative 695 by negative 508. I doubt this one will be in the game forever. It'll get fixed someday. But if you want to try to jank around with something like this, there's this uh, mesh that's not all the way up against the landscape. And you can try to build, I don't know, maybe build inside of it or something. And there's another broken one right down the hill from it right here. So if you want to try to jank around with these and try to make something funny in one of them, that's definitely an option for you if you're that kind of player. And then another cool place to build is this place. So there's some ancient ruins at ancient ru ritual site over here by negative 14 and negative 290. It's your choice if you want to build here. And if you do, you got a lot of choices. There's random ore and stone and stuff. And it's just a lot of cool flat spaces that you could build bases in here. There's some structures you guys can't build too close to. But other than that, there's lots of good space to build. It's just an interesting place to have a base. And there's a waterfall over here for some aesthetics. You could even build up here by the waterfall. It's just whatever you want if you're into this kind of aesthetic. And now back at my base, I would not recommend building here. But my bases are right here and right here. And I made them when I first started the game. And I've been too lazy to move them. Would not recommend building in either of these places. But they're all right. But that concludes this video, guys. I hope that helped you out. I have spent many hours scouring the map for good base locations, and that is what I've come up with. I might make a part two someday with more base locations if I play the game long enough to do that. But hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully you have a great place to build a base now. I gave you lots of awesome places depending on your play style, what aesthetic you want, whether you want to do it for utility, like a refined ingot base, or you want quartz, or if you just want a beautiful base or a good defendable base. It's up to you. There are lots of options. And I hopefully between all those, you'll be able to find the one that's right for you. But there you go. Those are the best base locations I have for you in Power World.